Uh, well, hello everyone. Now uh, we are going to make uh, Turkish coffee and we have a very special guest with us, uh, Turgay Yildizli, who is the Turkish coffee making champion barista of Turkey. And uh, well, he will show you how to make the best Turkish coffee. And here we are in our main office of Soya in Istanbul. And I hope you'll enjoy this video. Well, anyways, for, to make uh, the perfect Turkish coffee, you will need not so many things, actually. Freshly ground Turkish coffee at a uh, Turkish level, which is like uh, powder fine. You, you have to put your finger in it and get a fingerprint. That much it has to be fine. A butane burner, uh, a cup of uh, drinking water, never use tap water, drinking water. Um, you get as many cups as uh, persons, actually. Anyways, and then the, we call it in Turkish Jezve, in Arabic it's Rakwe, in Greek it's, in other, it's Ibriki, it's also a Turkish word anyways, but like you will need one. This is the soy model, this is the C1, C2, C3, C4, and we're going to use a C1 actually here, which is the competition model, silver lined, best in the world from soy. Anyways, enough advertisement, Let, let's get to it, uh, Turgay Bey. Welcome. Hi. Yes, now we pour our coffee into the jezve. Then the water. If you drink it with sugar, just put as much as you want. Uh, actually, we do not. People who are really coffee lovers do not. Let's start our burner. Quite a low level, very important. We use, right now we're using Sumatra beans. They're pretty hard to find in Istanbul, but you can get them. Now we'll focus on the jazz fam. Uh, yeah, and we use per person, by the way, just let me tell you, one uh, coffee spoon per person, uh, but like fully. Is it right? Actually, uh, it's between five and seven grams. Five and seven grams. We have a scale. You might get your scale if you're, um, uh, excuse my words, anal about it. Uh, the, the average Turk uh, actually puts like f between five and seven grams, but does it by eye. Yes, actually. And one gram coffee uh, for 10 grams water. One gram coffee ten for 10 grams. The ratio is my favorite. Okay, ratio. perfect. Never forget that. One gram of coffee per 10 grams of water. Now, again, like we control the fire, it's very important that the coffee actually does not boil. Very important. Now you see it's going to start to rise, then we have to control the rise, we even like get it lower. You can see froth forming on top. Again, use very low fire. Generally, after a minute and a half, it starts to rise. Ours is starting right now. May you see it. Controlled rise. Probably it's around 90 degrees. Yes, it should not go over the boiling point. Yes. And the ideal is to, depending on the, on the bean, as 
Mr. Yildiz will tell us, should be between like 92 and 87, depending on the, the bean and the coarseness of the, the roast. Okay, now we're almost there. We're almost there, yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, we got the fire out. Copper reacts very quickly. If you, if you have the missed chance of using a steel jezve, you will see that even if you put out the fire, the thing is still hot. And you see here, perfect, the froth, everything is there. This is the perfect Turkish coffee from the champion. Well, thank you. You're welcome. And mm. please wait around 30 seconds to ground settle down. Yes, wait 30 seconds before taking the first sip for the grounds to settle down. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. From Istanbul, bye.